This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I have to do three sets of five push-ups each. So, I'm sorry, I am so wimpy. <laughs> In today's is event, we're going to be talking about the active challenge. I started this at the beginning of 2017. You know when everybody's making their New Year's resolutions about going to the gym more often? Well, I'm not a person who likes to go to the gym very often because I just, I feel really awkward because everybody else knows what they're doing and I'm over here in the corner like, uh, how do you turn on a treadmill? Basically, I wanted to do an active challenge to kind of wake me up in the morning or, you know, just forget about my worries of the day and just do this little activity and do it daily and just, you know, feel healthier. I will leave a link to fitness challenge in the description below that I'm about to tell you about because it is a nice challenge for people who want to get fit, who want to tone their body-ish, kind of just like start prepping themselves for maybe a more workout heavy lifestyle or even just like getting a little workout every single day. It's, it's very easy and you don't have to go to the gym or anything. Like at home as long as you have a big enough space that your body can stretch out, you can just do it at home. And it was, I thought it was nice because I hate going to the gym because I always feel like everybody's watching me when obviously they, they don't care. They think everybody's watching them and I don't really care about them. They're doing their own workout. So the fitness challenge was a thing like you would do sit-ups, push-ups, jumping jack, go and run. Like it was all the stuff where you would put all this into one day. It could take between an hour to two hours depending on what day it was. Maybe even low as 30 minutes if you know you're really good at it. But being a lazy person as I was, I was like, well, I can do it later. Like I kept saying like I was going to do it later because I was tired from coming home from class. It was kind of difficult to specifically force myself to do this fitness challenge in my room because my room is a place of sleeping and watching YouTube. As soon as I realized I started doing the, like this fitness challenge less and less and like not working as hard in my room as much as I did when I first started, I started changing it from fitness to active. Being more active so that I'm not lazily laying in my bed watching YouTube, I could be down at the gym on the treadmill running and watching YouTube. Like I could still do the things that I was doing when I was laying in bed but just go downstairs to the gym that's provided for me and just yeah. In addition to going to the gym to run I did lift weights. I did kind of just like build myself up on those certain days. I didn't go every day. I went on those certain days that I had time and enough energy to be down there for a long period of time. Monday through Wednesday I have classes. On those days I didn't particularly go down to the gym and run and work out. I would walk to my classes, I would walk up the stairs, I wouldn't take the elevator unless like I was forced to. Seven floors. Seven floors of stairs. Oh my god I'm tired. I had to go down two flights of stairs just to find water. There is no water on the seventh floor, apparently, like water fountain. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm really out of shape. <laughs> so for this active challenge, if you guys want to do it, you can incorporate fitness into it or you can just be all active. It's a new month, guys. You can start it and have fun and, you know, be more active. It will give you more energy. The days that I did go down to the gym in the morning, I felt like I had a lot more energy throughout the day because it kind of like woke my body up. I also, including that, started going to practice the piano every single day. I like le learning a song that I'm working on for you guys that hopefully it'll come out in the next few months. I mean like, I mean same few months because hey, there's gonna be a lot of work on it. Go down in the description below and click on that link for the fitness challenge and I would suggest making an area and a time every single day if you're going to do that challenge of where you're going to do it, place that's not in your bedroom, go down to your living room, uh, an open area. If you're in a dorm, I'm assuming most places have like private rooms that you can go to. And the active challenge is a great way to start off if you want to be more active and get fitness. And I'm just repeating myself, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. I will leave right here if you want to follow me on all my social media. I did announce this a month ago on my Facebook. Constantly update my Snapchat about what kind of things that I'm doing, whether it's projects for you guys or an active challenge like I've been doing 
and I'm wanting to try different challenges so if you guys want to leave a comment in the description below on what kind of fitness or activity you guys do to make yourself feel like you know more energetic and feel a little bit more healthier every single day let me know down in the description below you can leave links and all that stuff I'd love to hear what you guys are doing if you're one of those kind of people who like to change themselves for the better Go ahead, click that button right there, you can subscribe to my channel, click right there, and you can subscribe to my vlog channel. Click right here, you can go ahead and support my Patreon, or you can click over here, well not really, I mean they're all listed right here for my social media, and BAM! If you click on my face, you can go ahead and see the last video that I did, which was my January favorite.